Uh, ja, er, is een, er is een missie van de internationale organisatie voor migratie hier in Suriname. En het doel, eigenlijk moet ik even teruggaan naar 2021, uh, 2020, 2021, waarbij we hebben opgemerkt dat Suriname uh, de inspanningen, of althans de assistentie van, het, uh, van de IOM, dus Internationale Organisatie voor Migratie, IOM, heeft ingeroepen om ons te helpen met onze migratiebeleid. Uh, dus migration policy. En in dat kader zijn er al een paar uh, activiteiten, hebben al een paar activiteiten plaatsgevonden. En vandaag is, zijn ze dus hier om vervolg, een vervolg uh, activiteit te doen. Uh, ze komen dus de, uh, de overheidsinstanties informeren over, het, uh, over de voorgang en eigenlijk over de stand van zaken met betrekking tot hetgeen dat wij vorig jaar hebben uh, afgesproken met ze. Dat is namelijk ons helpen met uh, onze migration management. Uh, en um, vandaag zijn ze dus hier en ze gaan ons dan informeren daarover. I wanted to say this about migration. Many of us, of all of us, certainly many of us, are coming somehow from somewhere else. We all are migrants in some form, and um, as such, Suriname is an example of a community built on migration, um, whether forced or not forced, but we are here. And I think one of the things we have learned over the past decades is that of working together. It's a high degree of tolerance for the positive diversity which we have as a country. Um, it's important to recognize that it wasn't an easy process. It wasn't that difficult as well because we have many other countries where uh, many ethnic groups have led to ethnic conflicts. We still have some risk of that even in our own region. I must say proudly that Suriname did not have that kind of environment. Maybe here and there a small movement, but it wasn't there. And that is due to good leadership, but also the, the people and how they engage with each other. So Suriname wants to be the most friendly country in terms of accepting, welcoming Surinamese, uh, um, people from abroad. That means visa liberation uh, or uh, making it easier for people to enter Suriname is going to be the policy and you'll see more and more of that coming. We'll have to put in the necessary checks and balances, but the idea is to eliminate as many visa requirements as possible. And that's simply to do, we are just 600,000 people. So at some point, and I'm just saying this for this moment, at some point we all will need to engage in a discussion on uh, population politics, population policy. And I, I know it's a sensitive discussion, but I think we will need to talk about it. Otherwise, the economic development will reach their ceiling, and then we need to think about how do we create more wealth for all people. Certainly, every country has its indigenous population, that includes the United States, but, but the U.S. is a country that was formed um, from, from and by migration. And immigrants contributed to the growth of the United States. And immigrants contribute to the growth of societies and the building of societies. So while there are lots of challenges uh, around migration, there are also lots of opportunities um, to, uh, to, to take advantage of when, 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 when migration is adequately managed and properly managed. And um, I will, this is my, I think, third or fourth time in Suriname. And it's the first time that I come to Suriname since COVID-19, which has been terrible and difficult and challenging for, for all of us. But I will certainly agree with the Honorable Minister that Suriname is an incredibly friendly place. And, and every time I come here, I'm sort of struck by the warmth of the Surinamese, uh, the friendliness, the openness of the Surinamese. Uh, and I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. It's very refreshing to, to, to come to Suriname and, and to, to meet with Surinamese. Uh, I've never had a negative experience with someone from Suriname. You guys are really wonderful and friendly. 
and, and Minister, you are an example of, of that uh, warmth and that uh, level of sophistication and friendliness, and I'm, I'm most grateful to you for that. En tot slot, wat is het uh, vervolgtrek van dit, uh, dit bezoek? Het vervolgtrek van dit bezoek is dus dat um, ze nu de presentaties doen. Hierna um, zullen ze ons zeker, uh, um, zullen de, de verschillende stakeholders die hier nu zijn, zullen hun input geven. Waarna wij zullen gaan, ergens in september, naar het formuleren van ons eigen migratiebeleid. Dus daarom, nu is het migration management, dus hoe ga je om met migratie? Hoe ga je het managen? Maar we moeten een migratiebeleid uh, daarop um, loslaten of althans ontwikkelen. En dat is dan het vervolgtraject, ons migratiebeleid. Maar natuurlijk moet, moet je input krijgen van alle ministeries, van alle instanties. En zo breed mogelijk. Want niet alleen het ministerie van Buitenlandse Zaken of Defensie of Jespol of Arbeid heeft er uh, baat bij. Maar ook de NGO's. Want ook die bekommeren zich om migranten. I, I believe... We, we need to hear from you what can be done, what should be done to make the whole framework one which is better. We do not want criminals or international recognized persons to enter Suriname, but what we want is, because that's the minority, that's a small portion of the whole population, it's about a larger group. We want to treat them well, if they can contribute to our economic development, our tourism development, mostly welcome. So thank you very much. Wish you an excellent uh, gathering and uh, I look forward to the results. Thank you very much.